Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon. Look who I got here. I have JP DeJoria and Eloise, the Hi lovely Maggie. Eloise. Hi guys. And the lovely Maggie. Oh uh, yeah, well this is this is a really special time. We're at the yes. Gathering 2016 yes, in Las Vegas. And how many people are here? We have, I think, about, oh, total of close to 4,000. So it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot of pretty people and doing a lot of wonderful things. Gorgeous people in the professional beauty industry. We have our sales consultants here. We have salon owners, stylists, educators. What a wonderful event. And it's all about helping one another out and spreading our culture. Well, what I love about this is you you have started a program, Tell Us Your Story. Yes. And you know what? You guys have thrown some questions at people, and I'm going to throw them at you. And we're going to start with you, Miss Eloise. Sure. Um, <laughs> what do you do? I'm not going to ask you this one because you've got a whole pile of these. Uh, what are you most proud of? Oh, I would say raising my children <laughs> and, and a great marriage, 25 years to John Paul. That, yeah, I'm very proud of that, that we've like had such a great marriage for, you know. Well, especially from, yeah, you know, in LA. Yeah, in LA. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. Okay, so what do you do to give back? Oh my God. <laughs> You're asking other people to say this. But, it, but it's a matter of I take my time, my energy, my money, promise our company, and go there and physically show up as well as contribute money to these events to make sure that it's going well. So I contribute my time and energy as well as financially make sure things happen. And I try and contribute where there's a good end result, not just giving money away, but helping people help themselves or saving many animals, for example, from extinction or from the disaster. And we learned about that today, that you have now a whole program designed where, where somebody is is in-house letting everyone else know what you're doing? Oh, we do, yeah. Mara Gordine is in-house and she's our corporate uh, cultural ambassador. She's in-house letting everybody know and a lot of the projects I cannot go to because I'm overwhelmed with things to do, she will go to and represent us personally and physically and be involved. Everything from being on the Sea Shepherd as one of the crew to uh, going out there and rescuing beehives with bee outfits yeah. on. So she's very active in letting everybody know what we do because they're part of us. So we say when we do it, clap because we're doing it on your behalf. You are part of us. So all the tens of thousands of hairdressers throughout the world support John Paul Mitchell Systems. We represent them so they can take credit for what we do globally because we do it on their behalf. Yeah, it's a wonderful program. Okay, and what does it mean for you to be in the moment? Oh, to be in the moment? That means peace and joy for me. When I'm in the moment, I'm just so grateful and, you know, and happy and, you know, don't don't live in the past, don't live in the future, just enjoy the moment. And it's been easy the last couple of days. I mean, sitting in Robert Cromie's hair color, you know, class, the whole, like, thousands of girls in there with beautiful hair and it's like how can you not be in the moment enjoy this like incredible talent yeah, it was a pretty special it's been yeah. a pretty special gathering yes, and it's been the best I think it's been the best classiest gathering we've ever had it's just you know and I really attribute some of this obviously to Michaeline DeGioria I think she's really you know been at the helm of everything kind of overseeing and I'm just so proud of what you know how she's taking you yeah know, she's pretty hard. special yeah, you know yeah. something else we noticed too maggie is that the way the hairstylists here this year are dressing and grooming themselves is even nicer than the years previously so they're taking more pride in themselves and that's very good to the see color the color is so fabulous the semi the demi the ink the you know pop i mean it's just it's just i even noticed that and i gotta tell you your staff it's like the the prettiest staff it, on the planet. I mean, I go to a lot of these things. You have very attractive people working for you, attending the whole, you know, right here. Okay, so my last question, because I know I only have you for a couple of minutes, and I've already exceeded that. Um, I heard, and many people here have heard the wonderful story uh, about you when you were in high school and you were told you weren't going to amount to anything. Oh, you yeah. and somebody else. That's I want you to tell the Modern Salon oh, audience. I'd be very happy to. I was in high school, 11th grade, Mr. Wax's business class, and this young lady named Michelle Gillian sat right behind me. We were the best of friends. We would pass little notes under my arm to the desk behind her, and one day Mr. Wax intercepted our note and read it to the class. It was something as stupid as, you know, Ronnie and Darlene are now going study. I'll see you at Winchell's after school. You know, something really silly. He read it to the class and said, these two here, this Michelle Gilliam and this Johnny DeJoria, don't hang out with them. They're not going to amount to anything. Look what they're doing doing business class. They're passing notes. Don't hang out with them, right? Well, I went in the Navy after high school. When I got out, a pal of mine said, God, how about your buddy Michelle? She did pretty good. I said, you mean Michelle uh, Gilliam goes, don't you know? I said, no. It's just, 
that's Michelle Phillips of the Mamas and Papas, your thin little pal. There's a very famous singer of all time. So Michelle did really well. When on my 50th birthday, Michelle found Mr. Wax, found him and brought him to the birthday party there, and we reminded him of the situation. Well, you know, how did he react? Was he, he, did, he say, did he take credit for it? No, he, no he was just as funny, Daddy, as there. Well, I don't know if I exactly said that. I said, yes, you did. We were there. We well, know. It's definitely a personality, I want to say defect, but I shouldn't judge, <laughs> of his. He was the same at your 50th birthday it, as I, I as can imagine him, yeah. he would have been. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny about that? I spoke to Scott Cole earlier today, and he and he has a school, and he says sometimes people just need that little nudge. Maybe Mr. Waxman was, you know, yeah. the reason you guys are so fabulous. Well, I don't know. We paid no attention to what went on with our lives. <laughs> he didn't affect us one bit, but he did say that. So the thing is, if anybody tells you there's something wrong with you, you're not going to amount to anything. No, what are you going to do in your life? Forget it. You'll never have a chance. Don't listen to him. Only listen to your inner spirit because you could do anything. And if I could start John Paul Mitchell Systems with $700, live in my car, and accomplish what we have with the love of hairstyles and us loving them right back, you can accomplish anything. Oh, that's the way to end. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Peace, Eloise. Peace, love, and happiness every day out there.